Good evening and welcome to Family Connect, a, a production of Henry County Public Schools. We're here this evening with two of our special reading instructors and administrators from Henry County Public Schools. I'm pleased to welcome Ms. Crystal Dixon, Assistant Principal at John Red Smith Elementary and Collinsville Primary School, and Ms. Michelle Wells, Reading Specialist at Collinsville Primary. And these ladies are with us this evening to talk to you about an important topic for every parent, grandparent, and family member in our community, and that is making sure that our students are ready to read at any given moment, any day of the week, especially this summer as they are away from the classroom for instruction. Thank you ladies for joining us this evening. We appreciate your being here. Um, talk to me a little bit about Summer Slide and why Summer Slide is an issue in every community, but specific, specifically in ours. Well, children tend to lose um, great amounts of knowledge in the summer if they aren't reading and um, being read to. Uh, on average, um, children um, that don't read in the summer can lose um, several months worth and over a period of years they can be years behind in their learning. Um, so it's very important that students are read to as well as re they read themselves and uh, statistics show that if a student will read four to five books in the summer that they're likely to hang on to the skills that they've learned during the year. However, go ahead. And, and we also want to make sure that our students are continuing to learn and one great easy way to continue to learn is, is through reading. And so we want to make sure that we're promoting that throughout the summer. Now, if I'm a parent, I can take my students to the public library. They can participate mm -hmm. in the reading program mm -hmm. there. But each of our schools also promotes a summer reading, summer learning opportunity for students. Tell Absolutely. us a little bit about what's involved in some of the summer learning and summer reading opportunities for our students. Well, we have um, provided uh, several reading lists, book lists for students, um, different activities. Um, I know at John Red and Collinsville Primary, Ms. Wells has prepared an actual handout for our students and families um, just to make sure that we're pro promoting that love of reading throughout the summer. And what sort of activities do the students do in each of these? Well, they read books and they, in the younger grades, they fill in a tic-tac-toe board and they create projects in the older grades that they bring in and they share at the beginning of the school year. But, so it's, um, everything is on our website. All our students have taken the packets home with them for the summer, but if you can't find one or you have someone, a new student that's going to be a rising kindergartner that doesn't have one, they can access it on our county schools website. Wonderful. Now we also know that in addition to making sure our students don't backslide in the summer, that they continue to grow and progress in their reading and learning skills, that it's important to practice appropriate reading habits. What are some of those appropriate reading habits for students? Well, one thing that I know that Ms. Wells promotes at Collinsville Primary um, is making sure that you hold the book correctly um, because it's very important. Um, a lot of times when you have Younger students, they tend to want to hold the book upside down, and so we want to make sure that they're able to read the words in the correct order. Um, also, when children are reading it with young children, it's very important that parents ask them to stop at the end of a page and retell what they read. And if they can't tell you without looking at the book, cover the words and let them look at the pictures and see if they can retell what they read. And if they can't, go back and reread. And certainly with older children, have them stop periodically and restate, retell what they read. And if they can't tell you what they read, you know, have them reread because often children will be able to call words at a much higher level than they can comprehend them. And that's just something that they need to start practicing. And it becomes part of their reading practice that they stop and retell the story themselves. But it has to be taught and practiced. And, and tracking is another um, basic skill um, that good readers usually do. Um, just making sure that students are um, putting their fingers underneath the words as they're reading, that, can, that will help to ensure that they're reading the words correctly. Um, and the, when the parents are listening, they can make sure they can monitor that. Now, if I'm not sure what tracking is, how do I decide exactly whether my student is doing that? Well, you can call it sliding like a snake. A child will run their finger under the words. And if they'll slide, they're more likely to read fluently as opposed to chopping it up. If they lift and point every time, then they're going to read do a back flip as opposed to do a back flip, which also promotes the comprehension if they read fluently. Wonderful. Now, 
We also know that it's important for students to read not just aloud to their parents, but to be read to, and also to read to themselves. Talk a little bit about the ages at which each of those is appropriate. When is my child old enough to read to him or herself versus reading aloud to me? Well, I think at any age, um, uh, a child, because I know we use a program um, at our schools called Daily Five, and during Daily Five, um, we make sure that students are reading to themselves just so they will um, not disturb others, but that helps to make sure that they have an understanding of what they're reading, and um, usually good readers will read to themselves. However, as a child, I remember I have to read out loud yes. to retain. <laughs> everybody learns differently, and it's, you know, and it's important too to remember that when children ha are interested in books that are maybe too difficult for them, parents can read to them. I mean, and should, and it's okay to read to your teenagers too while they do the dishes, <laughs> to sit in the kitchen and read a book that they're interested in, and, and it's a way to spark an interest for in like subject areas if you're studying, you know, a child has an interest in something but they're not mature enough to read the books on that, then read the books to them. But it, you know, certainly the children need to read to themselves, be read to, but I mean, we all learn differently, so you, you know, depending on what your child's learning style, but you know, they can read to themselves in kindergarten. So there's no, too early. Now, how do I decide what level my child should be reading? If my kindergartner wants to read Charlotte's Web, for example, how do I know if that's too difficult? You open the book and you let them read. And it's not the, we used to say if they missed five words on the page, then that book was too difficult. But tr truly now research says two to three words, it, you, you're not gonna mm -hmm. be able to comprehend it. Right. So if they're, you know, just let them try the book. And if they can't read it, read it to them and let Absolutely. them select a book that they can read. But don't, not, don't put the book away just because they can't read it. Read it to them. And we do have a wide variety of books available in our school libraries and our public libraries. Gauge the interest and reading levels of the students who live in our communities. But if I have books at home and I'm not sure what level they are, that's a great way for me to measure to determine whether my child can read that book. What about book exchanges? Do you have any of those available? Are there book exchanges in our community that are available Absolutely. to students? Absolutely, I know um, one nearby is at Jack Dalton Park. They have um, several boxes there um, and students can exchange books there. Um, I'm not sure where all of the um, book exchange boxes are, but I'm sure that our public li library will be able to assist with that. Um, and we can do more research and find um, more opportunities for the book exchange also. Thank you. We're going to take just a really quick break and then we're going to come back and talk about the important tips that you all have to share with us about reading with our students. Okay. okay. Hearing healthcare has changed forever. Life as you know it will never be the same. An all new approach will let you hear 30% better in difficult environments with all new patented technologies working in harmony with your brain. This new technology has created less effort, more recall, and a better ability to understand in difficult environments. This truly changes everything. Call us today for more information on these new technologies. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Come on down to Los Nortenos, right next to the Dutch Inn. Great food, great prices, and you're always guaranteed to have a good time. So come on down to Los Nortenos, next to the Dutch Inn. There are many reasons to choose Monroe Muffler Brake and Service for all of your car's maintenance, repair, and tire needs. We work on your schedule with convenient evenings, Saturday, and even Sunday hours. We've earned our customers' trust with over 50 years of guaranteed quality service. And one more popular reason is Monroe's oil change and more for only $19.99. Plus, we'll rotate your tires, check tire pressure, and inspect your brakes for free. Trust Monroe to keep your car and your family safe. For dealer quality service for less, it's Monroe Muffler Brake and Service. Hi, my name is Ronald Bennett. Hi, I'm Jordan Bailey. Hello, 
my name is Stan Leggins. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Family, Family Pharmacy. Pharmacy. We're located on 58 West outside of Danville at the Broswell Station. Over the past three years, I'd like to thank you for your business and your support. And in the next years to come, we we'll look forward to helping you and serving you in the future. Please stop by and let us take care of all your pharmacy needs, or you can give us a call at 434-685-1509. Kicking. The countdown is on for you to drive home a winner at Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. During the Drive Home a Winner event, take advantage of savings like up to $5,000 off a new robe. That's up to $5,000 off a new robe. You'll get top dollar for your trade. Plus, we offer our exclusive warranty forever. Get the deal of a lifetime for a limited time only. During the Drive Home a Winner event, Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville, your low price leader. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. Welcome back to Henry County Public Schools Family Connect. I'm here this evening with Ms. Crystal Dixon and Ms. Michelle Wells of Collinsville Primary School and we're talking about the important topic of reading. We know that there are lots of things we want our students to learn, but one of the most important is the love for reading. Our students should be racing to read, as they like to say at the Martinsville Speedway. And there are several things that family members need to know about reading. And the first is that reading can really spark a student's imagination. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Um, a well-written book um, can help to spark that creativity. Um, a lot of times we hear um, how there, there's no more creativity in school. Um, but we have creativity every day when, when children are reading books. Um, they're able to form their own pictures in their minds about the story. Um, and when they're being read to aloud, they're still able to form those pictures and kind of create a, their own story in their minds. And reading can help a student to focus in the classroom. Absolutely. Listening and the ability to pay attention is critical in all areas of learning, and especially reading. So, so if you are able to focus and read to yourself and stay focused on that book, that carries through to all of your different stuff, subjects. How do we notice that as classroom teachers, maybe even as parents? Well, if a student is reading and truly is reading, they're involved in the book. They're, for young children, they're often tracking. You can tell that they're not, the book is right side up, it's not mm -hmm. upside down. They're, they're reading and looking at from the, the left side to the right and turning the pages and not an ever so frequent manner. <laughs> That's very good. Reading can also help a student write. Mm -hmm. Well, and books, they're your first model for writing. Um, it, it shows when you when students are reading a book, it shows how um, how we write. Um, it gives sentence structure, um, starting with capital letters and with periods, some um, other punctuation. So it gives a good model for students to begin their writing. And our students also learn how books work, which you already talked a little bit about mm -hmm. from reading. What do parents need to know about how books work? Well, they need to know that they're modeling. If you are a parent and you're modeling reading, you're, if, whether it be the newspaper, a magazine, or a cookbook, you know, you're, you're modeling the reading for the child, and you're talking about you're restating what you've read. You're modeling the comprehension strategies of being able to restate what you've read in the book by, you know, when you read a recipe, you say, okay, I need, and you, you know, mm -hmm. talk about what, re what ingredients you need and how much of something you need. So you just model it for the child. Well, and it doesn't have to be a book. It can be a magazine. It could be an article. It can be a road sign. It can, you know, in a restaurant, it can be a menu, you know, that you read together. But you model reading from left to right, top to bottom, and tracking, pointing to what you're reading. So it's okay for me to choose a book or a magazine mm -hmm. about something that I just enjoy, Absolutely. right? Very Absolutely. Very good. What about sleep? How does reading help a child sleep? Oh, just, just think of creating that li the lifetime memories of just curling up with a good book with your, with your child and having that last 15 minutes of the day just winding down and, and just reading a good book and helping them to just settle down. <laughs> All right, and what about speaking? If reading can help me write, does it help the way I speak? Sure, the inflection in your voice when you're reading, when you're reading aloud, when you, you know, you, sh you share excitement when you're reading a sentence or, or a storybook or you have, 
you know, sadness in your voice. I mean, it helps you to provide that inflection and that different speaking patterns by listening to reading or, or paying appropriate attention to the, the punctuation when you're reading. And so then, of course, I assume my vocabulary gets better Absolutely. the more I read. That's Talk right. to me a little bit about the importance of learning the vocabulary within a story that I'm reading. Well, it helps with comprehension, um, and it helps with better speaking. Um, just getting, getting that exposure to different words, even words that students may not be familiar with, if they hear it in context, in the sentence, in the story, a lot of times they can come up with their own definition and just repeated exposure will help with, to expand the vocabulary. All right, and then reading helps me as a reader to think more critically. Mm -hmm. Critical thinking is one of our big ideas in Henry mm -hmm. County it Public is. Schools, one of our four C's. Mm -hmm. What does it really mean to think critically, and how does reading help me do that? Well, reading helps to expand your mind. You know, it helps you to take interest and be, um, to explore topics, you know, what makes things work, how you fix things, how you, um, you know, things that you don't know how to do, just reading mm -hmm. about them or things you're not aware of reading about them, you know, advances our knowledge and, ex and exploring those topics can interest, expand your interest levels as well. All right, and then maybe most importantly, reading makes us more excited about reading. There mm -hmm. are movies coming out this summer, maybe already Absolutely. out this summer. Um, why should we read the book first? Well, I know there's a really hot uh, movie out right now, um, Captain Underpants. Um, and I think it helps if you read the book first, you can see the similarities and the differences. And I know Miss Wells was talking a little bit earlier about the, the different details that are in the book um, than in the movie. So I can kind of compare and contrast and kids usually don't know that they're doing that, that skill when they're able to read the book first and then watch the movie. So. And as educators, we always enjoy leaving the theater and hearing someone say the book was better than the movie. <laughs> Absolutely. But the details. <laughs> that visualization <laughs> sure. that's uh -huh. provided for students can be really important. Uh -huh. um, reading is a foundational skill. It prepares students for all of the other paths that they take. Uh -huh. Why will reading this summer help me as a student in the fall? Or how will reading with my child this summer help him or her as a student in the fall? Well, you keep them thinking and learning, for one thing. You expose them to new vocabulary. Um, your brain development is critical. And it is important that we read to our children and expose them to it, as well as, you know, to get out and play with them. And, and we, you know, you can read in your books. You can read menus. You can read recipes together. But you need to make reading fun. And Absolutely. Model it and, and, you know, entice your children to, you know, to read because they love it. I mean, you know, make it fun for them not a mm -hmm. chore. And, and often it, in the summer it's probably a good idea to read first thing in the morning because that's when children are usually in the learning mode and then that keeps you from saying, oh, we ran out of time. Okay. All right, so reading is an important summer activity, an everyday activity. When we come back from this break, we're going to talk about some of the books that these ladies recommend for us for summer reading. Papa's Pizzeria Italian Restaurant in Bassett is now serving fresh brick oven pizzas every Saturday night. Stop by and enjoy our large outside patio of live music and karaoke with a great family atmosphere. Don't forget about our Friday and Sunday lunch buffets every week at Papa's. Papa's Pizza is located 4288 Ferrystone Park Highway in Bassett. Stop by or give us a call at 276-629-629. 6992. Hi, I'm John. I'm the pharmacist here at Rocky Mount Family Pharmacy. We'd like to invite you to come visit us and get all your prescription needs and health care needs filled here. We save you money on your prescriptions. We offer free delivery. We offer a family atmosphere. We treat you like family. We're located in the Shul Shopping Center on Route 40 West, like you're going to Ferrum here in Rocky Mount. That's 1165 Franklin Street. And our phone number is 489-5400, and that's area code 540. Come see us today. Reasons to choose Quality Inn Dutch Inn. Newly renovated banquet rooms, affordable catering, hotel, restaurant, and lounge all at one facility. 
call now and make reservations for our banquet room. For birthdays, anniversaries, family reunions, weddings, retirement parties, weekly business meetings, and more. The Dutch Inn Lunch Buffet, Monday through Friday from 11 till 2. Don't forget about the Build Your Own Omelette Bar every Saturday and Sunday morning. Dutch Inn, 2360 Virginia Avenue, Reservation 647-3721. The time to save is now at Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Martinsville. During the Drive and Discover event, you'll get top dollar for your trade and record-setting savings like up to $11,000 off a new Ram truck. That's up to $11,000 off. Plus, we offer our exclusive warranty forever. Get the deal of a lifetime and drive home a winner for a limited time only. Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Martinsville, your low-price leader. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. If you're looking for a place to relax and enjoy a fresh cooked meal, Rainier's Restaurant offers fresh seafood, jumbo shrimp, pasta, fresh cut prime rib, fresh lamb, fresh wild salmon, hot breadsticks along with our homemade cheesecake or chocolate mousse. We offer private, small, and large banquet rooms that will comfortably seat 10 to 125. Located at 147 East Main Street in Martinsville, Shimmers with service, taste, and unique ambiance in Uptown Martinsville. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're talking about reading and the importance of reading with our children. Ms. Wells, you shared during the break a really important statistic that families need to know. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, according to Scholastic, 92% um, of the kids say that or will read a book that they picked out themselves. And the summer is a perfect opportunity for children to pick out books that are interesting to them. That's not a, an assignment as it is during the school year. So even if I have summer reading assigned from school to complete mm -hmm. the summer reading challenge from school or to read my way to the race at the Speedway, mm -hmm. it's okay to choose a book that I like or a topic sure, that I like. Sure, absolutely. absolutely. Very good. So how do I know how much of that book to read every day? Um, we found that a lot of our students, they love chapter books. And so um, if your student is one of those that love, that love chapter books, challenge them to read a chapter a day um, or read as much as they would love to read um, for that particular day but you don't have to finish a book um, the entire book in one day so just kind of pace yourself a little bit um, try to make it interesting maybe stop at a cliffhanger um, I wonder what's going to happen tomorrow we'll, we'll see what happens um, just little things like that that will kind of help um, also you can just have a book handy mm -hmm. have books in the car as opposed to mm -hmm technology, you can just have an actual book there, carry it with you when you go places, so that it's accessible to the child to read whenever they want to. So. And our public libraries are issuing challenges to mm -hmm. students this summer to read a certain amount of pages, to read a certain amount of books. Maybe mm -hmm. you want to participate in an activity like that, but you're mm -hmm. not participating at the public library. You can do those sorts of challenges and activities at mm -hmm. home as well. What are some of the ideas that you all have shared with families about incorporating reading into their summer activities. Well, if you love to cook, certainly you can sit down and have your child read with you the recipe, pick out the ingredients, mm -hmm. or actually, when you're in, at the grocery store, have you help, help you find them, find the best price on one, so you're incorporating your reading and math skills together. Can I add a new vocabulary word? Um, find find a word you don't know in the book, or um, in a on a sign, or anything like that, and see if you can find out what that word means and challenge yourself that way. I look for special words on road signs. If you may look for words that begin with a uh, certain particular sound, you know, and change it up, make it fun, and see how many words they can log in a on a piece of paper, or just you know, look for them. However you want to do it to make it fun, whatever sparks your child's interest. Mm -hmm. And healthy competition with oneself can also be an exciting way for students to accomplish even more than they thought they could. So we like that Absolutely. idea as well. You all have brought with you today some books, some ideas for our <laughs> students and their families if they have not yet chosen a book to begin yes. reading for the summer. We are just into the beginning of summertime, so our students maybe have not had enough distance from school yet to start <laughs> thinking about what will I read. What do you have for us today? What do you think are great ways for our students to start with their summer reading? Well, you always have your classics like Charlotte's Web, <laughs> but as a 
former first grade teacher, I always enjoyed sitting down after lunch each day and reading a Junie B. Jones Absolutely. book with our students. Mm -hmm. And I was, I'm certain that I was Junie B. Jones when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> For sure that. <laughs> and we have um, a book here about George Washington. Um, just remember that you can always make reading about learning. Um, and you can find fa fun facts about people that you may have known just a little bit about. If you have questions about reading or other ideas you'd like to share with us, in Henry County Public Schools, we are available 24 hours a day. You can call our offices, check in with our schools Monday through Thursday mm -hmm. during our summer business hours, but we also suggest that you take a visit to our website, visit each school site to learn more about their summer reading activities and challenges, but also you can dialogue with us and get a real live response from a person through Let's Talk on our website. So share your questions, share your reading ideas with us. We'll be sharing those over Twitter and Facebook with our school community so that we all have a great summer reading. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you next week on Henry County Public Schools Family Connect. fun for everyone. Fontaine Brewerton Bingo every Tuesday night. Win cash prizes. Doors open at 530. Games start at 7. Visit Fontaine Brewerton Club online or on social media for updates, prize amounts, and more. Proceeds benefit our community, scholarships, and local school children. Fontaine Brewerton Club, 1903 Joseph Martin Highway, Martinsville. Jerry's Pizza now offers a private meeting room, that's right, for parties and family get-togethers. Hot, delicious pizza made fresh with fresh ingredients, daily specials, and now offering a Saturday night dinner buffet. Jerry's Pizza, the best lunch buffet in town. Call your order in ahead of time at 638-3990. The drive through is open for your convenience. Never get out of your car. Call 638-9009. Network, the pride of Martinsville. Family Pharmacy in Stewart is now open, proudly serving the residents of Patrick County. We'd like to invite you to come visit us and get all your prescription needs and health care needs filled here. We save you money on your prescriptions. We offer free delivery. We offer a family atmosphere. We treat you like family. Family Pharmacy in Stewart is located at 301 South Main Street, 276-694-4586. Come see us today. Auto Rehab in Stanley Town. Dependable and trustworthy. Auto Rehab, your area certified auto repair shop. Using state-of-the-art equipment for all your transmission and engine needs. From the simple oil change, tune-ups to diesel repair for all makes and models. Auto Rehab is your local dependable repair shop. Located behind Stanleytown Elementary School, just follow the signs to Auto Rehab.